Welcome to Paris, everybody. Bienvenue à Paris. There are a lot of galleries here that have traditional art brut and outside art from America. We're continuing to expand the horizons of the fair by showing art that are outside the traditional parameters of the field and from all over the world. In the art world today, not every dealer embraces outsider, self-taught artists. And I'm very lucky to be here with Garland, who has the bubbly, you know, personality such as myself. Um, and she embraces it, and, and I'm, you know, it's, it's just, to me, like a rarity. Être subversif vis-à-vis d'une pensée dominante qui s'imposait dans le monde de l'art, c'est-à-dire la façon de reconnaître une œuvre d'art, qu'il fallait passer par les écoles d'art, qu'il fallait être élitiste, c'est-à-dire une pensée élitiste de l'art. Et à travers ces, ces écrits, d'ailleurs ici, vous avez tous les écrits de Dubuffet, parce que notamment Asphyxion de Culture. Ce qui est particulièrement intéressant pour moi sur Eugène von Merchstein's paintings, c'est qu'il commence à faire des photographes de sa femme dans les 40s. Through about 1954, for about a dozen years or so, he makes paintings in this kind of technicolor style, which you see uh, hang on the wall. They're all wet on wet technique, and what that means is he would take cardboard boxes, pieces of masonite, other things that he was finding in and around both the bakery he worked and also in the neighborhood, uh, really in the trash, etc. <laughs> C'était à la Médina en 2001 quand je jouais au football dans la rue. Je me suis intéressé à lui parce qu'il ne fait pas de l'art pour la gloire, mais il ne fait pas de nécessité. Quand... Art Brut is the original pure concept of which evolved into outsider art when in 1972 Roger Cardinal coined the term to approximate what Art Brut meant. And since then, Art Brut has evolved with lots of different sideways ventures, little alleyways that have included uh, workshops for artists with disabilities, African-American self-taught artists from the South, and now the canon continues to evolve. Et évidemment, ce qu'on constate, c'est que ce, ce champ de l'art brut a beaucoup évolué, notamment euh, du fait de la traduction du terme en anglais qui est outsider art et c'est vrai que dans le terme anglophone on a à la fois l'art brut, enfin on retrouve l'art brut mais on retrouve aussi différentes formes d'expression non euh, institutionnelles. A fair like the outsider fair is probably one of the only art fairs that I would invite artists to come to because it is so inspiring. There's such a freedom in the work here and I think this show echoes that freedom as much as the classic outside artist definition. <laughs>